For more information and current price, I have included product links in description below. The next one on our list is Canon EOS Rebel T7i camera. The Canon EOS Rebel T7i is the latest incarnation of Canon's hugely popular mass-market range of DSLRs. This latest model is built around a 24MP sensor that uses Canon's dual pixel AF system to offer improved autofocus in live view and video. Let's see some of its features. Specification. The 24-megapixel Canon EOS Rebel T7i sits at the head of the company's entry-level DSLR family. A camera that newcomers can grow into, the T7i, boasts of a ramped-up autofocus system with more than twice the AF points compared with its predecessor, the EOS Rebel T6i, and it has Canon's latest Digic 7 imaging processor. Canon also improved the starting time on this camera, and the T7i now boasts continuous shooting speeds of up to 6 frames per second. You get longer battery life, too, at up to 820 shots per charge. Design. Designed for entry-level users, the T7i body is dotted with easily identifiable external controls and a Q system. The T7i offers on-screen help, which can be disabled as your knowledge of the camera and photography grows. The body is relatively compact and, with a deep hand grip, comfortable to hold. The viewfinder and LCD are sufficiently large and bright, but, as is common for a camera in this class, each provides only a 95% view of the scene. Thanks to the T7i's Bari Angle 3-inch LCD, it's easier to shoot overhead or at low angles than with a fixed LCD. Image Quality Overall, the T7i delivers excellent images. Accurate colors and generally well-balanced exposures are the norm, as are sharply focused images. The built-in flash easily balanced the exposure for this backlit subject. Flash exposure can be dialed down even further to tone down the highlights in her eyes and on her hair, if desired. Modest noise. The T7i's ISO range of 125,600 provides flexibility when shooting under a variety of lighting conditions. Even with the camera's internal noise reduction options disabled, the T7i expertly handled high ISO noise, keeping those pesky blotches to a minimum at up to about ISO 6400. Video. While 4K video has yet to trickle down to entry-level DSLRs like the T7i, this camera offers video capture at up to full HD. HDR and time-lapse movies are also available. The T7i is the first Rebel to take advantage of Canon's dual pixel autofocus, a sensor-based advanced AF technology seen in higher-end Canon DSLRs, such as the 80D that improves AF in movie and live view shooting. It's very effective when tracking subjects during video capture and is a welcome addition. Let's have a look at its pros and cons. The pros are Continuous shooting. It features continuous shooting up to 6 FPS. Autofocus system. It has 45-point cross-type autofocus system. Touchscreen. It has excellent touchscreen control. And for the cons. Viewfinder coverage. It has only 95% viewfinder coverage. So for final verdict. It might be a little old in the tooth, but the EOS Rebel T7i remains a solid choice for beginners looking to step up from their smartphone or point-and-shoot camera. The next one on our list is Canon EOS 90D camera. Canon has announced the Canon EOS 90D, a new crop sensor DSLR aimed at prosumers who want affordable flexibility in shooting both photos and videos. Let's see some of its features. Specification. At the core of the 90D is a 32.5 megapixel app CCMOS sensor with a 1.6x crop, backed by a Digic 8 image processor. The camera has an ISO range of 100 to 25,600 and has a continuous shooting speed of up to 11 frames per second. The dual pixel CMOS AF system uses 45 cross type autofocus points across 100% of the frame vertically and 88% of it horizontally. It has a working range that goes down to minus 3 EV, allowing you to autofocus even under moonlight. To assist with focusing portraits, the 90D features both face detection AF and eye detection AF. When metering through the viewfinder, you'll utilize the camera's 220,000 pixel RGB plus IR metering sensor, which does 216 zone TTL full aperture metering. When metering through live view, the camera does 384 zone metering on the image sensor. On the back of the camera is a viewfinder with approximately 100% coverage. Under it is a 3-inch 1.04 million dot Bari Angle Clear View LCD 2 touchscreen that allows for changing settings, selecting focus points, and reviewing images. 
In the area of video, the 90D can shoot 4K 30p and Full HD 120p with no crop, but there's also a crop mode if you need it. Image quality. The extra resolution on the 90D creates a nice level of detail, keeping fine details and texture intact. The sensor captures a 6960 pixel white image, which leaves decent room to crop. Colors on the 90D are what we'd expect from a Canon generally accurate, with good saturation. The auto white balance tends to favor a cooler look, which is the opposite of what I've seen with Nikon. The raw files from the 90D are flexible I was able to recover a good amount of details from the shadows in post. Video. The 90D offers a range of video options, including the new 4K video, which shoots footage uncropped. In addition to the fully articulated LCD, which comes in handy when shooting video, the 90D offers microphone and headphone jacks, as well as HDMI for output to external devices. Let's have a look at its pros and cons. The pros are Extended battery life. The 90DS battery will last between 1300 and 1500 shots. Face detection tracking. With its ITR technology, the 90D quickly and easily tracks eyes and faces, whether you're shooting through the optical viewfinder or live view. Good image quality. Overall image quality from the EOS 90D was quite good. And for the cons. Image noise at high ISO. The 90DS broader ISO range is a welcome update, but I was a little disappointed in how the 90D handled image noise. So for final verdict. The Canon EOS 90D is arguably Canon's best ever enthusiast, APS-C DSLR. It feels good in the hand, it's solid, reliable, and capable of turning out excellent images. The next one on our list is Canon EOS 6D Mark II. The Canon EOS 6D Mark II is the company's latest full-frame DSLR, aimed at advanced amateurs and enthusiasts, and even professionals looking for a second Canon DSLR body. Let's see some of its features. Design. The 6D Mark II is similar in size and weight to the original 6D. It's compact for a full-frame body, measuring 4.4 by 5.7 by 2.9 inches and weighing 1.7 pounds without a lens. Like most SLRS, it's finished in matte black with a rubberized covering that makes it more comfortable to grip. The viewfinder is a glass pentaprism design with a 0.71x magnification rating. Top controls include a locking mode dial, with the power switch at its base, to the left of the hot shoe. To its right you get a monochrome information LCD and a row of buttons to adjust the AF mode, drive setting, ISO, metering pattern, and to toggle the top LCD backlight. Ahead of them you'll find the top control dial, MFN button, and shutter release. Menu and info buttons sit to the left of the eye cup on the rear, and the switch that's used to toggle between still and video capture is at its right. Zoom and play are slightly angled, instead of right above one another, but aside from that the rear controls of the Mark II are the same as you'll find on the 6D. The big change on the rear is the LCD. Gone is the fixed display, replaced by a 3-inch 1040K dot, Vari angle, touch LCD. It's a huge upgrade for both still shooters and videographers. Connectivity. The 6D Mark II sports Bluetooth, NFC, and Wi-Fi for communication with a smartphone, and it can work with both IR and Bluetooth wireless remote controls. The wealth of connection options improve the pairing process with your phone. You can also use an Android device, both platforms use the Canon Camera Connect app to communicate with the 6D video quality and autofocus. Dual Pixel AF makes the 6D Mark II a friendlier option than other SLRs. The focus system smoothly racks as a scene changes or your subject moves toward or away from the lens, eliminating the need to have someone at the controls pulling focus. Documentarians working on run-and-gun direct cinema projects and parents just wanting to get a good-looking video of their kids will appreciate the 6D Mark II's ease of operation. The 6D Mark II gives you 1080p at your choice of 60, 30, or 24 frames per second. It can also shoot at 720p at 60fps or at 30fps with a lower quality. You can create 4K time-lapse videos in camera with high-quality 500 megabits per second motion JPEG compression, which is convenient. Video. The EOS RP does support 4K, but with caveats. It's only an option at 24fps, there's a heavy crop applied to the footage, which limits the ability to capture wide scenes, and it disables dual pixel AF. The RP makes more sense to more people as a 1080p camera. It can record at 30 or 60 FPS. Specifications. 
Perhaps the headline change is the new sensor, with the EO6 D Mark II sporting a 26.2 MP CMOS sensor that not only offers a sizable boost in resolution over the 20.2 MP chip in the EO6 D, but also a lot more pixels than the EO5 D Mark III's 22.3 MP sensor. The new sensor brings with it a native sensitivity range of ISO 140,000, which can be expanded to an equivalent of ISO 50 to 102,400. That's all new 26MP sensor has dual pixel technology for accurate autofocus during live view shooting, and it gains the same 45-point autofocus system from the crop sensor EOS 80D for viewfinder shooting. A fully articulating touchscreen built in Wi-Fi and GPS capability and 6.5 FPS burst shooting round out the package. Let's have a look at its pros and cons. The pros are Live view. It has excellent live view focusing. Connectivity. It comes with many connectivity options. Viewfinder. It features a fast 45-point viewfinder autofocus. And for the cons. Number 4K video. Sadly, it doesn't support 4K video. So for final verdict. The Canon EOS 6D Mark II is a solid entry point into full-frame DSLR photography. With a slew of features, good image quality and performance, the price is right for those who want a full-frame camera without breaking the bank. The next one on our list is Canon EOS RP mirrorless camera. The Canon EOS RP is among the smallest and lightest full-frame cameras on the market and is the least expensive full-frame camera at launch, ever. Let's see some of its features. Design. The build of the RP has quite literally been slimmed down compared to the R. It's shorter in every dimension, by a notable amount, and weighs 140 grams less. This means it's less balanced with the large Pro RF lenses and means a smaller grip too. Despite its light weight, the RP's polycarbonate on mag alloy chassis build feels reassuringly solid, with no creaks or obvious signs of cost cutting in its build. The RP is not shy on inputs either, offering both 3.5mm mic in and headphones sockets, as well as remote release, HDMI and USB. The AF on button is easily accessible for back button autofocus users. Customization options are typical Canon, giving you plenty of flexibility with some buttons, but with arbitrary limitations for some of the others. The rear screen itself provides an excellent and responsive touchscreen experience, and the electronic viewfinder. For those that like to use auto ISO, the EOS RP has a fantastic implementation that gives you control over your chosen range of ISO values, a minimum shutter speed, and an option to have the camera choose that minimum shutter speed automatically. Specifications. While the RP is powered by the new Digicate processor, its 26.2 MP sensor is almost exactly the same as the one inside the 6D Mark II. Accordingly, the RP has the same ISO 140,000, expandable to 102,400, along with dual pixel CMOS AF. It will autofocus down to minus 5 EV, and Canon makes the familiar manufacturer's claim that it possesses the world's fastest AF speed of 0.05 seconds. It can shoot in 4K up to 25 FPS, but loses dual pixel CMOS AF and suffers about a 1.76x crop when doing so. In 1080p it can shoot up to 50 FPS without a crop and with the benefit of dual pixel. Autofocus and imaging. The EOS RP isn't the camera to reach for when it's time to photograph fast-moving subjects. Its autofocus system is a little slow to lock on, requiring about 0.2 second to do so, and its burst rate is a very modest 5 FPS with locked focus and just 3 FPS when tracking moving subjects. The EOS RP enjoys a big advantage over SLRs in terms of coverage area. Because it's a mirrorless camera, the focus system is right on the image sensor and covers most of the frame. The dual pixel AF system does a very good job of locking onto something. When shooting JPGs at default settings, images show strong detail and little noise through ISO 1600. The RP utilizes a fully electronic shutter in order to quickly and silently capture the full swath of images for stacks. Video. The EOS RP does support 4K, but with caveats. It's only an option at 24 FPS, there's a heavy crop applied to the footage, which limits the ability to capture wide scenes, and it disables dual pixel AF. The RP makes more sense to more people as a 1080p camera. It can record at 30 or 60 FPS. Let's have a look at its pros and cons. The pros are Compact. It has compact body with full frame sensor. Autofocus. It has good autofocus performance. Controls. The controls are generally well thought out, with twin command dials. And for the cons. 
detection. It sometimes gives inconsistent face and eye detection. So for final verdict. Canon wants to bring full-frame photography to the masses with the affordable EOS RP. It's a solid camera for the price, but Canon needs to release more low-cost RF mount lenses to pair with it. The first one on our list is Canon EOS 5D Mark IV digital camera. The Canon EOS 5D series is arguably one of the most recognizable camera lines of the digital age, and the Mark IV is designed to appeal to the same wide range of enthusiasts and professionals. Let's see some of its features. Design, Features, Usability. The EOS 5D Mark IV looks very similar to the Mark III. An all-black body with a full leather texture surface and a substantial grip. It is a big and bulky camera, but, for a full-frame camera, it is actually very comfortable with a well-balanced feel. As for weight, the Mark IV is slightly lighter than the Mark III, at 31.4 ounces versus 33.5, respectively. On the top of the camera is a locking mode dial with nine options, including the standard assortment of automatic and manual exposure modes, plus three custom settings. On the top right is a large LCD that allows you to quickly check your settings. The white balance, drive aft, and exposure compensation ISO buttons are all nearby. Near the grip you'll find the shutter, jog wheel, and a multifunction key for changing autofocus area and other options. On the back are the optical viewfinder and a fixed 3.2-inch LCD screen for live view, playback, and menu adjustments. The 1.62 million dot resolution looks great, and colors are accurate. Performance. The EOS 5D Mark IV improves upon its predecessor in a number of ways, some dramatic and others evolutionary. Among the most important is resolution. A switch to a 30.4 megapixel full-frame sensor. The Mark IV also gets Canon's latest Digic 6 Plus image processor. Wedding and event photographers will also appreciate the improved ISO range of 100 to 32,000. Canon also added one of our favorite technologies to the Mark IV, Dual Pixel AF, which makes shooting DSLR video as easy as a point and shoot camcorder. Photo. Our review camera came with the aforementioned f24 to 105mm stabilized zoom. It's a good all-around lens that covers a nice range, from wide angle to short telephoto. With a 30.4 MP sensor, the camera is capturing 6720x4480 pixel files. We set the camera to RAW plus JPEG, as well as extra fine JPEGs. The Mark IV takes wonderful stills with the tone and color quality we've always appreciated with Canon cameras. We did our usual ISO test, and found that images held up nicely up to ISO 20,000. With a wide lens you should be good to go in the dimmest light. Video. The Mark IV captures video up to 4K, and it benefits greatly from dual pixel AF. We easily caught speeding horses racing across the finish line without worrying about fiddling with focus in live view. The color and smooth motion of the video were very impressive. If you want a faster frame rate, you could drop down to full HD 1080p, which also looks great. For casual recording, the Mark IV does just fine, and nothing beats the ease of aim and forget movie focusing with dual pixel AF. Let's have a look at its pros and cons. The pros are. Image sensor. It has 30MP full frame image sensor. Autofocus system. It comes with fast 61 point autofocus system. Dual pixel AF. The dual pixel AF is a game changer for video. And for the cons. Cropped 4K video. Sometimes it's severely cropped 4K video. So for final verdict. The EOS 5D Mark IV is a big upgrade for pro photographers invested in the Canon system. That ups the resolution, putting it in the same class with Nikon's D810, while also bettering its closest competitor in frame rate, video capture capabilities, and live view focus. I have included all product links in the description below. You can check out these links for more details and latest price. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, share this video and don't forget to hit the like button.